Welcome to our next briefing on the Israel-Hamas war. My name is Emmanuel Navon, and I'm the CEO of Alnet Israel. In our previous briefing, I thanked European countries that expressed dismay at South Africa's outrageous claim that Israel is committing genocide in Gaza. And I said, we hope that the new French government will add its voice to the moral clarity of Germany and of the UK. Thankfully, this has happened since. The new French foreign minister, Stéphane Sejourné, has declared that accusing the Jewish state of genocide crosses a moral threshold. The notion of genocide cannot be exploited for political ends. Indeed, we also thank Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tajani for dismissing South Africa's libel. France has also played a positive role in convincing Qatar to deliver medicine to Israeli hostages held by Hamas in Gaza, and we do hope that those medical supplies will indeed reach our hostages. Now that France has added its voice to the moral clarity of its Western allies, we hope that it will also add its firepower to neutralize the source of violence and instability in the Middle East. So far, only the US and the UK have activated their air force against Iran's militia in Yemen, the Houthis. France has not, and President Macron said that the response to the Houthis' aggression must be diplomatic. But diplomacy can only succeed if there is a middle ground. That is not and cannot be the case with pirates whose motto is death to America, death to Israel, curse to Jews, victory to Islam. As French President Mitterrand said at the eve of the Gulf War in January 1991, quote unquote, by protecting international law in the Middle East, however far this might look on the map, we are protecting our country. Were we to tolerate the principle that might is right overseas, we would end up suffering its consequences at home." End quote. Those words were as true then as they are today.